just a little bit to go through today. It's a very small unboxing, you know. You don't even need a, a snack to get through this. We'll be, we'll be done in a jiffy. Not a lot here at all. <laughs> Hello there, it's your friendly neighbourhood nerd, Tori here. How are we? I hope you're all doing well. So, a couple of days ago when I was scrolling on Instagram, I was like going through like the explore page thingy. I saw someone was posting that Azza had got in a new garden slash like picnicy summer range for Winnie the Pooh. I don't trust any of my local Azdas for getting new stuff in. I just don't trust them at all. So I went straight to the website and got everything I wanted for click and collect and that's where I've just been undone. I have clicked and I have collected. While I was there I was like I'll do some food shopping while I'm here you know necessities and things like that and I just walked down like you know the seasonal aisle where they've like got garden bits and toys and all your, your seasonal things guess what they had there <laughs> they had the entire new collection which in all honesty I don't find that very as frustrating as I thought I was going to find it because if I hadn't pre-ordered it it wouldn't have been there but it's only because I did order it it was there but it's fine it's fine. So I know it looks like I have got a lot, and I have got a lot, but I didn't order the entire collection because there were some things in the collection that I want, but I know I don't need. I don't need a deck chair just because it's got Winnie the Pooh on it. I'd love one, but let's be real, I don't need it. I also don't need a Winnie the Pooh cool bag. I'd love one. I only got one last summer. And that's still fine. So yeah, there was a few things in the collection that I didn't get. Do you remember it a couple of weeks ago? I did a video about what I'm growing in my veg patch this year. And I show you those pot buddies of Winnie the Pooh. They had those in the Asda collection. And they originally came out last year. And I tried so hard to find them last year. But they were sold out on the website and I could never find them in stores. And then they had them on the collection this year and I could have got them and I, when I saw that I was like oh that's so annoying because like I just brought some the other week but when I had a look at Asda's versions they are so much smaller than the ones that I'd got because you for at, with the Asda ones you buy all four characters in a pack and it worked out cheaper than just one of the individual ones that I got but when I looked into it I was like oh yeah well they are a lot smaller so I'm still happy with the ones I picked up anyway that's enough blah blah I think we need to get into what I've actually got so they've sent, they've done it in two packages. I think I can tell what's in this one because I can feel it. So without further ado, let's get into it. As I said, this is all like entirely like garden summery stuff. I believe these should be outdoor pillows. And I got one in the last year's summer collection. But even though they're called outdoor, you know, furniture pillows, I know. I have them outside on like my chairs and like benches in the garden in the summer but always bring them in at night. I don't want them getting rained on. And then when they're inside they like live in my conservatory because I think that's still like a good place. So where's my... Hey, this was last year's one. There's poo on the front and then it's got that on the background. I always have this in a matching duvet. And it's really annoying that like you can't feel this. To... It's got, got a different texture to normal pillows so I don't know if it is actually like waterproof but I still wouldn't trust it outside in the British weather. So on to this year's two. They're both double sided designs so on this side you've got a green background with poo on the front and it says oh hello there. That's cute and then on the back it's just got like this all over print of poo like striding along and it's got like some honey, some bees, some strawberries, the package just fell down, uh, some carrots, and I really like that, like a gingham print. So that's the first pillow. And then the second pillow is like a whitey colour. It's kind of like a similar colour to last year's one. So these would look cute like on opposite sides of the bench from each other. Oh, and then with the green one in the middle, that would look cute. So it says, that's what I call a friendly day. And it's got the whole gang walking along the bottom. And on the back, I really love this. This is kind of like the whole theming of this year's Asda collection. It's got like... Uh, sketchy style of the Hundred Acre Woods map. I really love this. Want that on a duvet set. 
that i really love that pattern so yeah these were the two new outdoor pillows for this year off the top of my head i can't remember any of the prices but i'll leave them here for you so those were the two things in the bag now on to the big box it's actually kind of heavy so i don't even know how to get into this box i've got one of those like shop disney style like peel on oh oh that's how you get into it. I'm struggling. I'm struggling. I think all like shops should have like the Disney store style opening where it's, you know, a very clear little tab you have to peel and you don't have to like actually cut half the box open. You know when I'm editing, this is actually like what takes the longest part in editing. Just cutting out me struggling to open boxes. Success. That was a workout. That was a struggle. We're in. So there's two boxes with inside the box and then there's one unboxed item so i think we'll start with the thing that's not in a box first to save us our struggle it's a winnie the pooh picnic blanket and i'll show you on the back it is in the same style that you know i said was like the theme for this year so it's a map of the hundred acre wood it's really nice material see i'm not gonna um, i like how it comes with you've got your handle and then you've got a nice little nice little strap take it out I'm gonna walk down the lake to the park. I was just planning on having it in the garden, you know, for a bit of sunbathing and relaxing. How cute would this be in the garden, you know, with this just laid out, with my Winnie the Pooh pillows just scattered on it. As I said, I cannot remember any other prices of anything, even though I only placed this order a couple of days ago. I will leave it here for you, but I think this is one of my favorite items. This is what I saw first, which was what alerted me to the new collection. I love it. <laughs> now onto the two items in the boxes. Well, actually I say two items, there's multiple items within the boxes. You'll understand. This one is the heaviest, so I think I know what this is. Oh yeah, it says here. Winnie the Pooh Planter 2-Pack. You know I love my house plants. So obviously I could not say no to some Winnie the Pooh plant pots. These were also something else that they had last year, but I could just never find, so I'm very happy to have them. I don't know if they were the same design or not, but I think they were different last year. They're really good sized pots. I've got a couple of big cacti. I think they'll look quite good in them. So you get two different designs, and they're both kind of in the... You know the second pillow I show you? They're both basically that. You've got this one. It's a white pot and it says, it's what I call a friendly day. And you've got the whole gang just going for a walk on the front with some trees in the background. And then it is just kind of like continuated around. And then the second pot is the print that is like basically the whole point of this collection if it wants to focus on it. it's the hundred acre woods and what i always love about this the compass spells out poo i really always love that detail i think you've just got the characters dotted in between all the trees if you can't tell i absolutely love this design and everything and with both of the pots is something i do always really like with these i can't actually get it out of the moment but i so i'm not going to like force it but at the bottom here can you see that just little like lump in the middle so it's on both pots and it, i have quite a few my house plants and outdoor pots as well that have them and it's really cool basically if you're going to have it as an indoor plant pot you keep your plug in and then your house plant will be in its little plastic plot that then goes inside this but if you're having it as an outdoor pot, you will then take that plug out and then you've got a little drainage hole, which is what I really love when they do that for pots. Because I think these are too nice to go outside and I don't, there wasn't like any like weather warnings on them. It's like, I don't know how they'd cope in a frost. I don't know like how they'd cope getting rained on and wind on and I just don't trust these. They're too nice for British weather outside. So that's why I like that they come with the little plugs on the bottom so you can have them as indoor use if you want to. Or you can remove them and they can be for outdoor use. But yeah, I absolutely love them. And I haven't done a room tour in a while and I don't think I will do one for another while because every time I do a room tour, YouTube thinks my bedroom is a kid's room. 
even though I am 23 years old, it's the same background that I film every video with, it's just when I show my room as a whole, YouTube just doesn't like it. Anyway, if you have been around for long enough, or you follow me on Instagram, the thing in the description, they get all the inside scoops. My houseplant collection on my windowsill, which is just behind here, they're all bumblebee themed, so I feel like they go well with two. And then on to the last box, and they did have some of this in store, but I don't think they had all of it because basically this is a picnic dining set and you got it as a set so you get everything you need in here. I could only see like a couple of plates in the store, so very glad I was able to pick this up online. I'm gonna have to put it down to show you and then I'll show you all the items. So first on the top, you get four. Oh, but well, I'll just show you one. Oh, they're all they're all plastic, all this range, because it's like a picnic thing, you know? So they're all plastic, but you get this little bowl and it's got that design of you know the whole gang going for a walk in the woods. And yeah, you get four of those. Then moving on to plates. So you get four of these plates. These are like your full size like dinner plate, and it's got the hundred acre woods map on it yeah i did think this was the case because it is plastic it does say on the back that it's not dishwasher or microwave safe because it's plastic it will melt you get four of the large dinner style plates and then you get four like little side plates and these i really love this design you've got the same quote on there that's what I call a friendly day and I do really like how it looks like Pooh is looking up at the quote and they're all looking at Pooh that's really cute and then you've got the 100 acre woods in the background and again same plasticky materials so that is everything you got in like the picnic dining kit so four dinner plates four side plates and four bowls so you could also get a Winnie the Pooh jug like this size it was clear with like the characters you know walking around the bottom but I got a jug from last year's collection and last year's I also got a big salad bowl and what else did I got, get last year I got the straws as well the Winnie the Pooh straws that they didn't do this year they also didn't do the salad bowl this year so I'm glad I got that last year yeah that is the Winnie the Pooh Asda garden slash picnic collection so i'm filming this just at the end of april i believe you're watching at some point in may for me at the moment we're still getting really cold nights which is really bizarre so i'm not gonna like put anything outside just yet as i said i will bring them all in at night but hopefully by the time you guys are watching this the weather will have improved a little bit and the nights won't be as cold hopefully we won't be getting frosts so I can set up outside and get a nice photo of all the collection and I'll obviously show you guys over on Instagram and I'll probably dot in a bit of Lash's collection as well because it is just as cute. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. Do let me know in the comment section down below what was your favourite item from this video and if you plan on picking anything from this collection up in Asda do let me know in the comment section down below. They do also have a few stitch like kitchenware and outdoor bits but Obviously I just focus on the poo stuff so I can't confirm 100% what they have in the stitch range because I just tunnel vision for poo. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it please pop the thumbs up button and if you'd like to see more from why don't forget to click subscribe down below. And while you're down there don't forget to dig a vacation belly might as well. You're already down there. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!